In this video, we will be going over how to find the achievements, all the achievements that give you skins, and we will go over tips and tricks on how to get some of them too. Now, the way you get achievements is you go to your picture, then you go over one tab to achievements. So you can see you can get Silver Bruce just by getting friends. And you can invite anyone that you've played with. In Beast Soccer, you just have to win a couple matches. So they're not really that hard. In custom games, win different maps. Or is it just play? Yeah, win 20 custom games in different maps. So that's, you know, just get a couple friends together that play. Not that difficult. In Typhoon, win five quick matches. It'll take a little bit, but it's not really that bad. And safely afloat. So really all you're doing is just playing the game and winning. So they're not, not terrible. Complete all weekly challenges during three consecutive weeks. So you just gotta play the challenges. Clear out weekly challenges. That one, you have to unlock 92 achievements. That is all of the other achievements. There's only 93 achievements in the game. So that one is gonna be next to impossible to get. In Black Hole Lab, win five quick matches. That is a really cool skin. Like, honestly, that is a beautiful skin I, like i can't bring it up but it is so cool then we got yeah because you get cookies through here too party up and win 10 quick matches with friends so you just have to go in a quick match with a couple friends at least one if you got four that's great makes it that much easier golden harry though win five consecutive matches in quick match that is very hard to do if you can get into things like football hockey where it's 4v4 instead of 2v2v2v2, you have a much better chance. 50-50 as opposed to 25%. So much better. And then party up and win five consecutive quick matches. So you can do those together, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. So if you're playing with five friends, win five matches, you get both of these at the same time, I think. Then last stand, win exactly three rounds. So that you should be able to pair with this. So in last stand, instead of everyone can win up to two of them, it's the first to three. So you gotta do it exactly three in exactly three rounds. And at the moment of taking the picture, be the only person who is not knocked out. That is also gonna be very difficult, but you get a golden sparky, which is really cool. Then in Ibachan, or however you pronounce it, win the round while freezing yourself from being eliminated by the mist. That is something that sounds very difficult to do also, but you get a green bacon skin, which is actually pretty neat. It might not be the coolest one, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so then you have Typhoon. In Typhoon, grab the missile for at least one second, three times in a single round, which basically means you have to grab the rocket, hop off, grab the next one in the same round. So all three missiles, because I believe there's only three that launch, you have to grab all of them for at least a second in the same round, which is gonna take a little bit of practice to grab the rockets, but once you've done it, it should be pretty straightforward. You get a Lava Curtis. But the next one, in Broken Arrow, survive over two and a half minutes in one round. Now, Broken Arrow is the bomber that you're on that freezes as, you're, as you get farther in the match. So that one might be one of the hardest because the plane also tilts. So as it's tilting and all the ice is coming on, you're just sliding. So that one's pretty difficult but you do get a Lava Storm Harry, which is actually really cool. And then Winter is Coming, win one round without being frozen. It's not super difficult to do if you're aiming to do it. Just stay by the fires. Might take a couple times, but it's not too bad. Black Hole Lab, win the round before the second black hole generates. So you gotta knock it everyone either off of the edge or into the center before the second black hole which is not a lot of time but you do get a really cool carrot skin so it's worth it to try i mean if you're already in the match why not right gator valley win one round with a teammate without falling off the floating bridge so you and your teammate both have to be up on the bridge at the end the last two people standing and you cannot fall off the bridge into the water which if you have a good teammate and you can just kind of hide behind him. It's not that bad, but it is still, it's a challenge. They're meant to be hard. In Lollipop Factory, win the game by only submitting little gummies. Again, you're gonna want a team for that one because one person on your team grabbing the big one and you fail the challenge. Uh, in Fluffy Redemption, throw 10 coal pieces into the firebox without being eliminated. So stay on your side, grab the coal, go to the front and just keep going back and forth. And don't forget you can run when you have the coal in your hands. 
If you grab it with one hand, you go faster. So that would be my suggestion. Grab it with one hand and just back forth, back and forth. And just hope no one jumps to your side or you're able to knock them out without being thrown off the train yourself. And then into the game, score 20 diamonds on your own in one game and win. So you just have to get on the machine and grab all the diamonds that come down. Hopefully your team's gonna protect you from the other people trying to knock you off the machine, but that's how you do that one. And safely afloat, push the minecart off the cliff. Since recording this video, I have completed this challenge. I found the best way to do this is to go to the blue side. The red side will be much harder you have to rock the cart back and forth to straighten it out and then run it off the edge. It does not need to go all the way down to the center, just to the ledge. It may require two people to actually get it off, but it can be straightened out with just the one of you. If you want to see a video of how it's done, like this video and comment that you want to see it. Yeah, see a hundred Nemo bucks from doing these, you don't get a lot, but it is something. And trebuchet ride in a loaded trebuchet 10 times in one game so just hop in have them throw you to the other side and just hop in theirs they'll send you back because they don't want you there and just keep going 10 times and then buzz balls score all of the points for your team and win so you need to get six or seven points be the only person on your team six points that's going to be tough unless you can again get with friends and tell them not to score and just stand by their thing and just let them throw the ball to you so you can get it in. That one's gonna be difficult. Beast hockey, win five matches. Yeah, so again, just play and win, right? You'll unlock it. In an icebreaker, survive with your teammate at the end of the round. So just you and your friend are the only people are alive at the end. But yeah, once you've done them, they turn gold. Uh, in wind tunnel, win one round without grabbing the levers and gates. So just don't put the gate up, don't hit the lever, don't grab the gate and just let everyone else do it. Earn a three-star rating with the tutorial. That one is a little bit difficult, but it can be done. Uh, in beat up bridge, survive 20 seconds after the main rope breaks and win the round. It is a little difficult, but just stay near the top. And as long as the spectators aren't knocking everyone out, you and one other person just stay there. It's it can be done. And then in beast football, long pass and knock out an opponent. So what you want to do is grab the ball, hold X, look at someone. Well, hold X if you're on controller. Release and throw it through them. It will knock them out and you'll get the achievement for it. Throw an item and knock out five opponents as a spectator. Once you die, just you can either throw the bombs or the whatever they have, fish, biscuits. They change once in a while. Just throw those, hit the other animals and you'll knock them out. So that's how you get all of the achievement skins. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.